Case 5. Days in Franchising Hospitality Assets in China. Overview Days in A leading hotel group in China was established in 2005 and was listed on the New York Stock Exchange in 2009. It now operates more than 1,000 hotels in 168 major Chinese cities and has enrolled more than 30 million customers in its membership club. The major factor behind the company's success was the operation strategy that the company has followed and the innovative business model. This study presents the issues and problems encountered by Days In in franchising hospitality in China. This study also presents an analysis in order to extrapolate key themes and results that help predict future trends, eliminate previously hidden issues that can be applied to practice and or provide a means for understanding an important problem with greater clarity. Lastly, recommendations, solutions, and outcome are presented. Brief Introduction The Days in brand was created by Cecil B. Day in 1970. When the U.S. hospitality industry consisted of just a dozen national lodging brands, Days Inn and Days Hotels are economy hotels located throughout the world that offers guests single, double, and sometimes suit accommodation. They featured high-speed internet access, expanded cable, television, in-room coffee maker, and continental breakfast. The service sector has grown rapidly in both developed and developing countries during the past three decades. Service firms may enter foreign market using a variety of entry modes, such as exports, licensing, joint ventures, or establishing a subsidiary abroad when internationalizing. The mode of entry is a fundamental decision a firm makes when it enters a new market because the choice of entry automatically constrains the firm marketing and operational strategy. A firm entering a foreign market faces an array of choices to serve the market. According to Johnson's and Jellies, year 2008, this categorized the choices open to companies into five main classes. Number one, export license and franchise. Two, alliance. Three, joint ventures. And Wally owned subsidiary. In franchising and management contracts, hotel chains have generally preferred to use non equity forms of organization for international expansion and operations mainly due to cost efficiency concerns. Non-equity based arguments are the most common forms of organization structure for market entry among hotel chains. In the case of a hotel franchise, a company operates a hotel under one of the brands owned by one of the large international chain and the company benefits from the services and expertise of the international chain. The Windham Worldwide, which is headquartered in the suburban New Jersey, town of Parsifani, is one of the largest hospitality companies. They offer individual consumers and business to business customers a broad suit of hospitality products and services across various accommodation alternative price ranges through its portfolio of brands it is the world largest franchisor of hotel branded products chinese tourism 
and hospitality industries have experienced phenomenal development since economic reform was initiated in 1978. As part of strategy, the to modernize China, the country started with the new economic reform. This reform is the open door policy under the leadership of Deng Xiaoping. This helped to contribute to change the old socialist economic system of the former China. Since its inception in 2004, this in China has become one of the fastest growing mid market. These in franchises are supported in a number of ways, including positioning, global sales team, procurement, training, and brand marketing. Objective of the study To identify the factors that affect the operation of the company. To assess the company knowledge and capabilities regarding market strategy. To identify situation and concerns related to the company issue. Background of the study. Days in in a hotel chain headquartered in the United States. It was founded by Cecil B. Day in 1970. And the, the brand is now a part of the Windham Hotels and Resort. As of December 31, 2018, Days Inn has 1,728 locations worldwide with 137,678 rooms. Days Inn is one of the largest economy brands worldwide. Its acquisition of the direct franchising right was effected through the termination of the master license agreement between between Windham Hotels and its master licensee for the Days in system in China and aligns with Windham Hotels strategy to grow its direct franchising operations in emerging market. These are some problems of Days in franchising hospitality assets in China. In market entry decision, the mode of entry is a fundamental decision because the choice of entry requires marketing and operational strategy. In terms of franchising, high initial capital requirement involves in setting up a hotel. It may also be affected by general, regional, and local economic condition due to location quality of its properties in the vicinity. In Chinese market, China hotels were few in number, with travel having been primarily restricted to that associated with political needs. Solutions Market Decision a firm can choose any of the entry mode or use them to combination to distinguish attributes regarding the different modes of entry is the degree which they give another firm to control over its marketing resources in building a market entry strategy time is a crucial factor in franchising the hotel industry is capital intensive requiring a big financial upfront to establish facilities. When franchising in this specific market, quality control, ownership, connection, business tradition, and franchisor franchisee relationship should be examined carefully in order to ensure success. In Chinese market, the country Chinese started with the open door policy to help to contribute to change the socialist economic system into new environment environment in which foreign investment and expertise were encouraged.
recommendation. In regards with market entry decision, it must have a strategy that deals with planning and control and also its marketing and operation. In order for a company to enter a specific market, it should involve true analysis in the distribution and delivery of goods or service to a new target market, considering a, the relevant factors when deciding the viability of entering into a particular market. In terms of franchising, as it involves high initial ca capital on setting up a hotel and may be affected by the economic conditions due to location. Expansions can be faster because franchises provide the labor and their sales provide the growth, but the franchises should be fully committed due to the investment they put in. This in must have research to the location in constructing the hotel because successful locations can return high profit. In regards to Chinese market, franchisor must know their niche market because the business would grow when it is specialized in a particular service. Outcome. With the help of various entry modes to differentiate and compare with, it enables the firm to come up with the decision on what entry mode is best and identify the level of factors of each entry mode. With that being said, coming up with the best market decision in the tool that achieves the goal in the long term. When franchising a hotel, there are various factors to be considered in hotel to succeed in this area of industry. Ensuring quality control helps giving out the best outcome, not only for the target market, but also for the business itself. Ownership is an important part of the ability to control 100% of the business and may outweigh any of the disadvantages. True connection, true firm may withstand any sudden changes that business might face. Business tradition embodies the core value of the business that each employee em emulates. Having a good franchisor-franchise relationship gives both parties something to gain from the partnership. Applying all these factors helps to success of the business. Foreign investment and expertise helps in China to be able to reach economic potential by providing capital to finance the new and enhance existing industry that would help boost the productivity and creating employment opportunities in the process.